Hello, everyone! RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with a new Let's Play of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I cannot wait. Didn't expect the home screen to be like this, though, or the main menu for this. I I'm sure we'll get something once we actually start the game, but... Yeah, I'm very excited for this game. I'm very excited for this game. Um, if you guys remember a few years ago, or was it like two years ago? I think it was two years ago. I played Xenoblade Chronicles uh, Definitive Edition when that came out on the Switch. And I love that game. And now I'm playing Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Finally, after so long. Um, I've just been so busy with all the other Let's Plays and such. But now that I'm finally like in a place where it's like, oh, hey, I can finally play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. There's nothing really else that I was really thinking about playing. But now that we're done with like, you know, a majority of the new games that came out this year that were going to be Let's Plays. I was like, you know what? It's time. It's time to start. Excuse me. It's time to start Xenoblade Chronicles 2, and I'm glad we're finally here, because now Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is coming out even earlier than uh, when it first got announced. So I, I, I have no doubt that we'll wrap this up, hopefully before Xenoblade Chronicles 3 comes out, but if we wrap it up roughly close to it coming out, that might even be better. Um, as of right now, I did not buy the expansion pack. I probably will later on down the line, um, because that it's so weird. It's like... I don't know, maybe it's because it's a separate game, but it's so weird. The expansion pack's like 30 bucks, but then the plain story content um, is like 40 bucks or something like that. It's like, that's so weird. Why would you want to get just that when you can also get that along with so many other goodies, as I so. I digress. I digress. Um, I will buy all that stuff. Now, I don't know much about Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, I know some of the characters, and that's about it. That's about it. Um... And yeah, uh, I did watch uh, someone play just a little bit of it, not too much of the game. So I do know like uh, a little bit of the starting point of the game. So, uh, but yeah, um, let's just get into it. Um, options, what are our options here? Uh, I'm pretty sure everything will be fine. Um, but yeah, and then of course I know the whole like, you know, the voice acting wasn't the best, hasn't been the, isn't the best. Um, the voice acting isn't the best. The, um, Cutscene voice volume must have that just a higher up. Um, game voice volume, uh, same same spot. Battle narration volume, I, I guess. Um, oh, and then of course the music's gonna be fucking great as well. Environmental body, uh, a little bit lower. System volume, a little bit higher. Uh, right there, so that's good. So yeah. Uh, screen brightness, um. It's a little too bright. Let's have it it's too dark. Let's have it right about there. Actually, hold on. What was the default? Okay, yeah, right there is fine. And I didn't change this, did it? Nope. Okay. Um, anything else? Uh, difficulty level normal, easy, normal, easy. Okay, normal. Um, I I, I think I know that the the expansion pack does give you a hard difficulty, but I think we'll stick with normal, so. All right, oh, shit. All right, um, yeah, so let's begin uh, on normal. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, and you can change the difficulty settings. All right, sounds good to me.
We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. Bricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. Alrighty, here we go. Right into it. Time to earn your lunch. To in initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. Draw your weapon, simply press A while targeting an enemy. To display the target, just press R. You can tell which enemy you've targeted by the target marker to play above its head. Initially, you can also seat your weapon if you'd rather not continue to fight. It's as simple as holding R down and pressing B. If you approach the target enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attack automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that? Then it's time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. Okay, time to take you down. Idle attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack power increases with each blow. Yeah! Uh, take a look at the icons at the lower right of the screen. When one of these, when one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Arts are special techniques distra uh, dis distinct from auto attacks. The icons are laid out like the controller buttons, so just press the corresponding button to use one. After using an art, you'll have to wait until the recharge gauge surrounding the icon is refilled before you can use it again. The recharge gauge will fill as you auto attack enemies. Try pre pressing X to let rip with a uh, Rex's anchor shot arc. Anchor shot! Ha! The enemy just dropped something that's... Uh, something. This is an item called an HP potion. Maneuver Rex to the HP potion, pick it up, it'll restore some of its HP. Some arts like anchor shot will always cause the enemy to drop an HP potion. Should you use an art immediately to deal serious damage or save them when you need bonuses like that HP boost, consider your arts tactic carefully. Why not? Stronger than before. Oh, there. Chapter One Encounters. An entire horizon of white. A sea of clouds. And at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This. This is the world we call home. All rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in All Rest lived on the tree. Together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in All Rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the titans and we've lived in harmony with them ever since but now those titans 
are beginning to die out. does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... ...if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say. For what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist? This Elysium and the Creator who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonset. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hall should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Alrighty, here we are. Agrarian Trade Guild. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right. Elsa wouldn't be here. Fair point. So Fair point. Which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. 
Well, Morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have you a gold after I sell the stuff. All right? Later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too. <laughs> No one, I'm afraid. <laughs> Fuck yours. I'm liking the Gramps. I'm liking Gramps so far. Awesome. Awesome. This thing's huge. And it's not even a Titan ship. Looks like our adventure is about to really get going, and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. When you close the tutorial screen, you'll see Gold Mouth Return Port pop up on the screen. This is letting you know that you found a landmark. When you discover a landmark, you can return to it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're defeated in battle, you'll be returned to the last landmark you visited. Allrist has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, Press uh, left, up, or right on the directional buttons to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme. Uh, left is for battle controls, up is for the camera controls, and uh, right is for the field controls. Alright, move character, switch blade, switch blade, switch blade, concrete attacks, chain attack, target enemy, art 1, art 2, art 3. Special ally help move camera, press, uh, reset the cameras, uh, camera controls to page two, field controls to page two. Um, approve combat requests, approve combat requests, uh, R and Y, change target left, seek weapons. Okay. Alrighty. What's this? Ah, Rex, you're back. Between the fee of more and Gramps here and for uploading your goods, that'll be 15 gold in total. Ready to pay up now? Yeah, might as well. Thanks a bunch. I don't know what I've done if you tried to shriek your bill. Enjoy that set gold month, yeah? Rex, you've got a lot to be proud of. Salvaging isn't exactly a stable career. Some days you might hit the jackpot, but on an unlucky day, you might not bring in a single gold. Living independently at your age in a business like that, it can't be easy. You just keep the good work, yeah? <clears throat> Rux, my boy, feel free to take your time. I'm plenty tired, so I'll just snooze here for a spell. Thanks, Gramps. Take it easy, then. And just in case you were wondering, I don't need any souvenirs, so don't go out of your way for my benefit. Sounds good. It definitely means he wants something, but what? Huh. Is there like a run button? Ah! Or, I don't think the first game had a run button either. Bana is the proof of the... Blah. Bana. You guys remember Bana. Huh. Hi there. Wow, oh, Rex, it's good to see you. Perry Perry, you just will in your way time, watching ships go by till cargo all loaded on board. What Rex say the meal to the other? Nice tasty smarter or some such. Sorry, I'm kinda busy at the moment. Meh, not too bad. Perry Perry though would be nice to make happy memories before I set out on a long, long voyage. Ah, never mind, Perry Perry. This is being melodramatic. Let's keep up doing good work with salvaging. Oh. Hey there, Rex, that ship caught your eye. Well, of course. 
Yeah, I guess it's not easy to miss. Never knew that made ships this big without a Titan at the core. Can't even begin to imagine how the whole thing works. Indeed. Do you know whose ship it is? Some clients are the chairmans, I think. Don't know the details. Huh, I guess. I know you're curious, but don't go climbing on board or anything, okay? I'm not that crazy. Anyway, I've got to get back to work. All right, then. See you around, Graham. Hi there! Rex, my boy. This snowpon on here has just arrived to the bit of a sightseeing around Argonetum. Keep saying saying the central exchange is inside Goldmouth, but just after you enter the ship, but he just doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to Lamoy Inn on the third floor. I'm a soldier, not a tour guide. That sounds rough, buddy. Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First up, I'll explain the regular view. See that air where the arrow's pointing right now? That's the compass. To mark the compass indicates the direction that Rex should be heading in. Digits above the mark of the compass show the distance of your destination. Rex's destination is higher than its current position, then you'll see a little arrow above the marker. Conversely, if it is at a lower altitude than Rex's current position, then the arrow will be displayed below the mark. Next up, let's take uh, let's take a look at the environmental information that the arrow mark is pointing to you right now. This will be key into this will key you into info about your immediate surroundings like the weather, time of day, and so on. Next, the minimap. You can use this to get a quick grasp of Rex's surroundings. The L marker in the middle shows Rex's current location and destination he's facing. Press L to switch between a full screen or minimap view. Confident adventurers might pr prefer to make their way through all Rex without using a minimap. Ha ha ha! Fuck no! Lastly, we have the current objective. As you might expect, this tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle its, vi toggle its visibility with a ZR, so take a look if you're ever unsure about what you want to do next. Right now, it's telling you to go and pay a visit to Melolo, or Milolo, at the Central Exchange, so try doing that. Yep, there we are. Um... Yeah, I remember the time of day and the weather affected some of the quests in the first game, so... Just not such an exchange! This place for important export paperwork of Ardarian traders. Such an exchange is around center of this shop, Goldmouth. If you want to sell salvage goods, so just talk to Milolo. Melolo. Milolo. Hi there! Tornado hard! Oh, that, that good idea to move around to the side or back of enemy during battle. Now me thinks its info might be relevant to repairs around Goldmouth. When it's hard to how many nails should not hit from single straight bro, straight above but side on. Oh, if I don't think I don't want to think about all the nails they'll end up ruining. Hey Rex, looks like you've been quite the salvage You've got quite the salvage business going on there. Been to the Central Exchange yet? Should bring your haul along there. Collectibles, treasures, whatever's in your pocket. Look we'll at a better deal if you can sell them off the in bulk. Playing the market to your favor is the mark of a true salvager. And arrived. And arrived. Have you heard anything interesting lately? This legendary merc a pal of mine told me about Zokwum. And get this, he's got a huge sweet tooth. Can't say no to a cinnamon pawn roll. Just one sent upon roll and he'll be pumped for the next battle. Similar to how my wife's got a serious thing for Erdu Dolls. Pleasant smells are conductive to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that preps you up as well. Will do. Hi there. What? That's it? It's live, Mayor. There's still more than Mare. a non friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Moor Arday and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Methinks. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. 
I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's a shame. Rex good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village is right? Yeah. Is a beautiful thing. Sending money home at such young Send age. Sending money home. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Eh hey, hey. All right, I'm counting on you. Roger. Pleasure doing business. You got a reward. 200 Gs. How's that? All right, um... Hello there. Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no, how say? Yes, Peppy. Peppy! Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Got something for me? Something like that. Ah, by the way... Rex come from Fonset Village in Leptherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? Y you should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner, ask for Rex by name. The Chairman? For me? Yeah, I remember. I, I fucked up the quest line in Xenoblade Chronicles. I fucked up his uh, Bono's quest line because I think I got too far into the story in order to like actually progress it afterwards. That I hope that's something that doesn't return in this game, where it's like, oh, if you get too far in the story and like, I can't, I can't remember like how it was. I think it was like, um, I think you had to do it before the High Entia change or something like that. Or no, I think it was before that. Oh, hi there. You're a cute little fox. Um, I can't remember the exact circumstances, but of like, you had to do it before a certain major story bit. I just know that for sure. Um, but I, uh, I fucked it up and I didn't actually get to do it in any way. So that was my fault. But, but then he returned in Future Connected. So yeah, I can't remember what he did in Future Connected, if I'm being honest. The Future Connected bit's the one thing I can't really, really remember with side stuff, but, oh well. I mean, I had a park labeled the return of Bono, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I recently just looked through, like, I, I like doing this every now and then. I like going through uh, old playlists of mine, just, like, look up what I named these parts and, like, look at the thumbnails. I think it's pretty nice. What you waiting for? Chop, chop. You go see Chairman Bono now. Where's the Chairman's room? Go through Argentumba Zaw and upstairs. Chairman's room right there. Meh, start this dilly dally and hop to it. You young and spiriting bard, yo. How's Papione do is doing? Not bad, not bad. Why run out on me? But apart from that. <laughs> but apart from that, can't complain. Since my wife left me, you know. Papione's head's full with menial tasks. I mean, very important work for Jem and Bonner. High power roll, natural release, Papione time poor. But still important to have breaky breaky sometimes. What about your guardsmen's there? Can't they do some of the work? Why are they a big why do they remind me of Mr. Anderson from The Matrix? And they look exactly the same. Are they twins? God I just gave a horrible accent. Hold up a second. Before I forget, I should probably explain how the how to control the camera. Bitch, I've always been controlling the camera. The camera has two modes, manual and auto. If you use manual mode, just use R to point the camera in whichever direction you like. If you press R while the camera's in manual mode, the camera will hold in on Rex's back and follow him around. This is what we call auto mode. You can hold... You can also adjust the camera's height, zoom, hold down L and move the camera left and right to adjust the camera height and up and down to adjust zoom. If you experiment with different camera angles, then you might be able to spot a few things that you might otherwise have missed, so give it a try. Ah! Uh, this I think this is good uh, zoom for now. What's 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 the thing on the? How do I uh, plus right? Oh. Um. How do I? 
Okay, but is there no way to like see what the hell this, like this symbol is? Like, I want to see what that like. Is there a way I can see what that symbol is? Actually, it was minus two when I'm not in combat. Oh, save. Okay. Um, and options. I might as well save. Oh boy. And it only has one save slot, so I'm not too excited about that. Hopefully, nothing fucks up. All right. Uh, that's all I wanted. I want this. Let's check out these menus. Okay, we got characters. We got our Rex. Use WP. How much WP do I have? Insignificant uh, weapon points? S pay. Current skill points. Uh, step inwards. Step outwards. Uh, increase strength by 20. Need that many points. That's a lot of points you need for stuff. Increase HP restored by self. Now use HP potion by 10%. Oh, 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 that's what, just what the skill is. I thought that was like, okay. Alrighty. We have our skip travel right there. Location, skip travel. Collection point. No. Don't even know where a hard heart is. Shops, current objective, quest start, okay. Okay, so it looks like they have hard hearts, and it also looks like they have the um, settlement um, hearts as well. Something that I do know about this is this game has a lot, a lot of side quests. And a lot, a lot of... Um, um, oh, here we are. I can purchase the DLC from here. Uh, but I'll hold on that release schedule. Oh, shit, no, I, I had X, not Y. If you purchase downloadable content, please allow the download to finish, then close the Black Chronicles 2 and restart to access the content. No, it's recommended to save the game before closing. Yeah, no shit. Oh, and then, the, okay, it's telling you what was all released. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably end up buying the DLC maybe after this part or this next part or something like that. It's Max, my good pal Max. Hi there. Can't get over the fact that you're providing for your village at such a young age, Rex. It's really admirable. Probably hanging out for a bit of salvaging after this, aren't you? Well, be careful how you go. Thanks. Yeah, no, um, like I said, um... Um... From the previous game, a lot of... Yeah, no, there's... Oh, uh, hold on. Meme, salvage is so cool. Lily was she. Which could also do salvaging work instead of just god job. But Lemuli supposed to not is not so bad just gazing out of the cloud sea. Um Don't start trying to study history from salvaging artifact. Have you heard anything interesting lately? No one really knows the salvage goods really used in the way they describe today. Good example is giant's black rain. Looks like rain for a very giant finger, but then what happened to giant? Wow, pretty impressive. It piqued her imagination, though. No? Everything's so interesting. Meh meh. Okay, time to take you down. Time to take you yeah. down. Me. He's very he's definitely a slow attacker. For sure. Um but yeah, no, uh, there's a lot of side content and such in this game. So I, I don't know if I'll be able to do it all in a shit ton of blades where I just know a lot of people are I think still working on games. I'm Tweety! Not wanted to salvage anymore. Always feeling like useless beginner. No, 
fun at all. Really? Don't you like it when you find something good and it makes your money? And doesn't it make you feel curious when you find mysterious treasures that nobody's seen before? I mean, sure, we have to deal with scary monsters sometimes, but I feel like the excitement m marks up for it. So what do you think is more scary than excite? Let's know about average mortality of salvage just per year. No, what is it? About 20 or so. It's 360 people! Every year, almost the same number as no pawn who died from eat poison mushroom. Maybe you should do something about those poison mushrooms first. Oh, tweet. Tweet, tweet, went out of dangerous career. If you're having salvaging problems, I feel bad for you, girl. Or are you a boy? I when start to tell so sometimes. Late? I've got 99 problems, but the salvaging one hit me. Past here is the room of Chairman Bana. Chairman very busy, no pawns, so no entering unless important business. Temper of Chairman famously short, not to disturb lightly. I hear ya. Let's appear first. <gasps> that person just left. See, it also that's another thing too. Like time of day depends on like some people come and go too, so it depends on the time of day as well. So, and that's why I like the uh, the um, quest and such. Left all clear, right all clear, front all clear. Gold mouth a okay. Argon tomb, biggest trade port in the whole of all rest, so we very strict on security. Wow, pretty impressive. But it get very tiring lately. Me start to give up hope that Lilumi come back to relieve me of shift. Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? See, that's another thing. Like, how? What, what's, what does that thing above their head mean? Is that like a quest or something? Or. Oh, shit. Oh, wait. Um. So yeah, I don't know if I'll do all the side content, and it all depends too, because if I remember correctly, I think I did some of the side content off screen for the first game, because majority of them were just like, oh, go get this thing, and that's it. So they didn't really have much of a, really of a big thing. It's very unusual to come all the way out here and talk to Forana. Forana not, was not trying to do anything dangerous, especially when new opponent born in a Voltus Trade Guild become five years old, must go out alone for an initiation called Walkie Walkie. Really? First stop on journey is Gold Month. Four of four must have a look at work of fellow no pawn at Argument Trade Guild. So four of four aura was studying very closely activities of salvagers at unfamiliar guild. Oh, I see. But thought of the amount of hard work make four and I not want to become grown up. What the straight guild walkie walkie guidebooks say when walkie walkie no bum becomes sad, time to move on. Now go to a place with wonderful view, get fresh feeling and forget sad things. Maybe four or four are destined to meet friend again. Best of luck. Oh, are you like a continuing side quest type thing where it's like I go oh. see you at different places? I love that I'm also getting 69 damage every time I fucking land on my feet like that. Uh, Alright, let's go talk uh, to a big bad Bana. Hi, Bonna. Meh, you sack of shit. You look different than the Bonna I know from the first Thank game. You for accepting summons. I, Bonna, chairman of the I, Bonna. I like your voice. P pleased to make your acquaintance. I will say this I'm pretty sure there. Hi there. I'm sure there will be some, some characters that are good with acting, but I just heard. I think the overall consensus I've always heard is that. The, English. Actually, can I pause this? Yes. I think the overall consensus is that the English voice acting of this is not favorable. But I've heard, I've heard that they all have improved. Like if you watch the Smash uh, announcement trailer for Pyra, or Pyra, Pyra, uh, it's they have actually gotten better. So hey, that's good. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is one hundred thousand gold. A hundred thousand. A hundred thousand? Here, right. Actually, that just the advance. Another one hundred thousand provided upon completing job. Two hundred thousand gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs>
You agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this. Of course. I'll be fine. Nah, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Crew, crew will explain the task. Sir? Hi. I know you, cat girl. And I I mean I remember seeing these guys from trailers and such, so And you're definitely a Tatsuya Namura character design. Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area. But it's a long way down. It's a long yeah. way down. And I'm falling. Nice. Sorry. I Good like song by Zebrahead. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew, very picky. They want a small, elite team and only from Latheria. That when Banner have stroke of genius should hire Rex. Rex. <laughs> I cannot roll my R's <laughs> and I'm right I, every time I try it always fucks up. <laughs> A child salvager. Jen, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. Lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly underground. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, Hi, Kitty. was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Ooh, I like Don't your voice. Work. What have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Malos, what good is it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. Woof. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramps showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. I didn't use an arts. I don't know what you're talking Kid, about. You better work hard. Yeah. <laughs> Bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need. Then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. It's okay. Right then. There are plenty of preparations to make, but first off, we should probably check in with Gramps. If I just took off with some random ship without telling him, I'm sure he'd give me hell at later when I come back. I better head down to the stairs and back to Goldmouth Return Port. That's a lot of money. Friend received mission directly from Chairman. Make sure to do good job. But even more important than good job, make sure to come back in one piece. No dying to make your family sad. What was this room like? Hello there. <laughs> Treasure? Tr 
treasure acquired. Ah, oh, damn. I'm just... Uh, don't worry, Bana. D nothing happened here. I don't know what you're talking about. Jamie Bana told you where to go, didn't he? Down to the exit dock on the starboard side of Gold Mall. Once you sort out what you're doing with your advance payment, you should head down there. Sh sharpish. Sharpish? A hundred grand. That's quite the pretty little sum. Yeah, I've never been paid anything like this much before. And you got another hundred grand when you get back. Lucky you. What I won't give to get that kind of money. Well, um, I'm not trying to guilt you or anything. You just do your best out there, all right. Details of job are just as Bonner explained. We ask you to haul in the goods at newly discovered location of Cloud Sea. What goods are we talking about here? The goods are the goods. Bonner pay you well for this. Kindly keep notes out of business that not concern you. Oh, boy. Jeff and Bonner explain everything. Then we'll get to work straight away. Come bu can buy good equipment with money from Chairman Bonner. Yeah. When Fred ready, head to Goldmouth Exit Dock. We have outstanding ship ready for commandeering. Oh, Gramps. Huh. Oh, what? Is there a way I can advance time? Was, was I able to do that beforehand? Wasn't there like a trick of you like looking at the moon or the sun or something like that and it goes by a bit faster? Or was there a way I could be like, hey, I want to be here in the morning or some such? Or am I thinking of some other game for that? I honestly don't remember. And that about covers it. All right, and that about covers later. it. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! Rex! Now that I've got Gramps' permission, just about, I better start making preparations for this mission. A hundred grand to spend. That shows an exciting prospect. I could buy a whole new cutting edge salvaging suit. But no, I can't splunge this all at once. The folks back home need this way more than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases and just head to Cheyenne's accessories. Always best to be prepared for anything. I might end up finding a crust dip like on my last salvage. Big job preparations received. I'm uh, sure. You accepted a quest. There are two types of quests. Regular quests and ones that are part of the main story. You need to complete main story quests to advance the main story. The direction of the next location is shown on the compass as a pink exclamation mark point. A word of warning here, the pink icon will not appear on the compass on top of the screen unless you set a quest as active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a seasoned veteran, but rookie adventurers will do well to remember to set active quests whenever possible. Ordinarily, quests aren't vital for the main story. Follow the blue exclamation icon. Uh, mark icon to get to the next destination. RS is full of people who can use a little help. You'll be able to spot them pretty easily since they'll be they'll have a blue question mark icon above their head. If you speak to them, they'll usually open up to you about their problems and request some kind of help. These are the regular quests that I mentioned earlier. I'm sure if you manage to solve your problems, they'll give you some kind of reward for your trouble. Okay, um, that's how I open up the bath. I wish there was a way to come here a lot faster. I mean, or does it basically show the same stuff here? No? Uh, yeah, it kind of does. Okay. Actually, no, I don't think it does. You know, it doesn't show like my... I mean, my destination is right there, the pink thing, but still. Hi, Gramps. I really don't think it's a good idea, Rex. Just refuse. Sounds suspicious to me. But it's Chairman Bonner's guild, which is legit, and I already got the advance. I'm sure it'll be fine. High compensation usually implies a high level of risk, you know. I strongly suggest you reconsider whether the job is appropriate for you. Look, it'll be 
We're working alongside drivers. It might be a once in a lifetime thing. Isn't that a valuable experience? You always tell me experience is invaluable, right? Well, don't you, Gramps? Hmm. I'm just a crotchety old... Oh, God, I almost fell. Now that would be a big deal, I suppose, but still. These products show they are much of a salvager like me. Don't think I should be wasting time right now. Ah, friend Rex, good to be seen. <clears throat> Hi, Shiny. You still got that thing we talked about before. Ah, Rex finally saved up money for the purchase. You got it, can I have a look? Boost maximum HP. <clears throat> Why Rex suddenly have much money? Salvage some amazing treasure. I've taken a, on a big job direct from the chairman. I got a hundred thousand G just from the advance payment. Wow, that's quite impressive. But I'll be going into uncharted waters, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. This accessory is sure to protect Rex. Genie guarantee. Good luck on job. Right, now that that's sorted, and I've still got a fair amount of cash left, time to send some back home to the folks of Fonset. It's best to go see Milolo at the Central Exchange. Ex I get Central Exchange again. You finally got the uh, <coughs> Abyss Vest you always wanted. It'll boost your maximum HP by 24%. Right now, the Abyss Vest is the only accessory you have, but you're, um, you're sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Just remember, you'll need to equip accessories to benefit the, from their effects. Go to main menu, characters, character setup, accessories to do so. Okay. Oh, looks like I get old too, okay. Huh. Alright. <sighs> Let me look at this. Look, the details are off. Oh, okay, it's just that, okay. Uh, quest log. Well, here's our quest log for main quest, and then here's side quest. Which I believe you can't look at yet, so we still got two question mark things, okay. Back again, did friend forget something? No, I didn't exactly forget anything. I just decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on floor. No problem around here, very particular about money, so it should turn in small change. No, I didn't actually pick up any small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum, like 2,000 G? I'd rather not ba bandy the number around too much, but more like 100,000. 100,000? Not so loud. Oh, yes, sorry much. But where Rex get all that gold? Actually, no. No need to tell me, Lolo. Me, Lolo, not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Any hoodles? Rex, me, Lolo, Lolo, not able to accept such a large sum here anyway. Should take directly to Korea. All money's me, Lolo, except here, always delivered through Korea called Max. Oh, okay. Max, I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering the money for me all this time. Huh. Well, this only makes things quicker. Friend, know where to find Max. Yeah, he'll be just through the Argentuming Bazaar, right? Thanks, Milolo. Milolo, 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 Lolo, 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 Lolo. I I do like. Obviously, the music has so far been a great hit. Um, the 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 the, the graphics and everything has been really good too. It's going to take a while for. Maybe Rex's voice actor to grow on me, but some of the voice acting isn't so bad. Hey, Max, I'd like to transfer some money. Hi, this isn't Rex. Pretty rare for a client to drop cash off in person. It's a big sum this time, so me, Lolo, said I should bring it straight to you. You're quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to the folks every single month. Ha, huh, it's not that big of a deal. So, how much are we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets, so after leaving a bit for myself, let's say... Seriously, dude. Okay, at least maybe save yourself. Can you have a 90,000 G to Orini of Fonset Village, please? Phew, that's quite the healthy sum. Do you hold up some huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Now that sounds like a pie, pie I like a piece of. 
Oh yeah, I got a delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, else I'd have to track you down. It's yours from some Auntie Corini of yours, actually. Oh, it's Base Cloud Sea Shark. Mm, it looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of that transfer for me, okay? You can count on me. Praise Cloud Sea Shark times three. Hello there, friend Rex. Rui Rui, proprietor of White Side Salvage at your service. No need for introductions with me, Rui Rui. I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. Well, that perfect timing. Rui Rui just got in a brand new cylinder type. Is that having, if having time, friend, want to test out? Really, you let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvinger World. If Rex approve of quality, easier for Rui Rui to sell. It's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. I'll be glad to help. Then it's out. Come see Rui Rui on rear deck shortly then. Rui Rui will make preparations. Gotcha. Rui Rui. 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 This is brand new cylinder. Please test out at nearby salvage point and tell Ruri Ruri impressions of using. Alright then, leave it to me. Time to learn about salvaging. This icon you see in front of Rex right now marks what we call a salvage point. As long as you have cylinders handy, handy you can go salvaging at one of these points at any time. Follow the on-screen instructions and hit the buttons just at the right time to get your hands on some treasure. Time it right and you'll get a high quality treasure. If your timing's off, the value of the treasure will decrease. There are salvage points all around all rest and the type of treasures varies from point to point. So if you find a new one, be sure to give it a try. By the way, if you're short on cylinders, you can buy them at any salvager shop. You'll find these shops all across all rest. The expensive cylinders like is likely to get you better quality treasure, but even a cheap one can yield a decent haul. So use your gold as you see fit. For the moment, you bet you better use that cylinder that Rui Rui gave you and see how it goes. Gotcha. Oh, I can't wait. Ah shit. Huh. Onwards. Fucked up that first one. Fuck. I'm back. Miss me? Ha. Treasure acquired. Butterfly lens. So much money do I have now? Six thousand. Okay, got. I think I got a decent hole. Hey, that kind of fucked up with that. Looks like Randall Fish. How was New Cylinder? It was all right. All right, that's such vague answer. But it's true that not easy to get used to New Cylinder has only one use. At any rate, thanks for much of your help. Always here, give friend present for three normal cylinders. Can't use in the same place as before. Meh. Happy salvaging. Okay. If I ever run out of cylinders, please drop by shop anytime. We make deal. Okay. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? Mm, I guess I should stock up on food supplies. I've got that braze cloud sea shark now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor. Then I should be all set. Fishy, fishy. Don't think I should be wasting time right now. Fuck you, Rex. It's the perfect time to be wasting time. Oh, Lord, there was even more before? Damn, I did not know that. Fa la 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 la. Is something wrong? What? No, be not in pain. Me was singing. Meh, need to get better at singing me now. But how? Meh. Have you heard anything interesting lately? Mm, has Fred ever seen Diver fighting proof for? Try to use weapon received from Blade to rally bash up enemies, slicey slicey. Also, sometimes Driver will turn the weapon to a Blade. When that happens, Blade can unleash powerful attack and flatten the enemy. I told her I really love it when Driver and Blade do that. Blade left very tired after doing this, though. So Driver have to pick up slack and have we 
weapon bit. Pishy bashy at enemy. Anyway, this is all what boyfriend teach at Toto. I'll use the lady. Use the lady. Welcome, friend. Now then, what should I buy? Uh, negative 4% ether damage taken, plus 5% damage. Party gauge, uh, ether damage, ether damage, duration. Um, I, I guess I'll go with this. Let's get all of them now. Let's just get one. Thanks for custom. Completed! You bought supplies and stocked up on food, so you're all ready to salvage. Right, I've got the accessory I wanted, and I'm all sorted for food. I think that should just about do it. There's still time left before I have to leave, so maybe I'll rest up at the inn. I could head back to Gramps to rest, but he might try to give me another lecture, so yeah, the inn seems best. I have plenty of cash left, and it can't hurt to rest in a nice comfy bed once in a while. The inn should be just past Rumbletum Canteen. Let's get moving. Rumbletum. Rumbly tumbly rumbly. What's up here? Don't have any business on the higher floors right now. Oh. Well, okay then, Rex. Rexy poo. Let me quickly explain about lodgings. When you take a short rest in the lodging facility like an inn, you can use any bonus XP you've earned to boost your level. Okay. Bonus XP experience that you earn when completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to rest at inns and on occasion so you can use it. If you come up against a foe that you just can't beat, do a few quests to build up your bonus XP, then go to the lodging facility and level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes to challenge, you're free to never level up at lodgings at all. It can be fun to live dangerously. Anyway, you've got a big day ahead of you tomorrow. You better get some shut eye. Okay, that sounds very similar to um um Final Fantasy 15 in a way. Except 15, it was all of your experience. This one just only seems to be bonus experience. So I'll still probably get experience while fighting and such, but stuff. Welcome to Lamar Inn, rest place of all traders. I like to rest up a bit. Thank you. Thank very much for custom. We have rooms free. Actually, I think we wait a bit long before resting up. Very well. I did not mean to do that. Music's still good, I'd say. Okay, can level up. Bonus experience, 70. To the next level, 49. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Didn't, um... Or maybe I'm thinking of some other game, but didn't... Did the first game also have something similar to... Something about their levels as well, or did they have a different theme for leveling up? I can't remember. Wasn't a whole like, oh, I could like... This might be from another game. But then they have like, I'm going to take some experience away from this person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think it was only in the definitive edition though for Xenoblade, where you can be like, oh, I want this person to be at a low level, and then I'll move the, some levels for this person. Yeah, yeah, but I think that was only definitive edition version. I don't think it was anything else. So... It really is so different from sleeping in the, that little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I feel even like I've got a bit stronger. Anyway, better head to the meetup point. It was that Goldmouth exit dock down at the ground floor, right? I guess there's still time to look around Goldmouth a bit longer if I want to. But I shouldn't dawdle too long. A number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across all rest. Ogdeon Trade Guild is known as the hub of all rest commerce, so naturally you'll find a plethora of different shops here. While you're here, you should make sure you've got everything you need before you head out of your adventure. Ugh, I slept like a baby. I slept like a baby. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about something important. Rex's pouch. Rex never goes anywhere without his handy pouch. It's great for putting his favorite items inside so that he always has time to close his hands. Holy shit! Stop with the system updates. 
Our next pouch isn't that big. It can hold just one handy item at a time. So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually that's sort of everyday items you'll you'll find at lifestyle shops. Just keep them close by can have all sorts of effects. There are 12 different types of lifestyle shops across all rest. Jesus. Uh, so if you count a new one, be sure to check it out. Is it in the... Oh, there it is. Yep. Character, pouch. I can either give myself a Marie Stirfire or one of these things. I'll hold off on that for now until I, until I set out. Or about to set out. Take a good, long, drooling look at delicious foods to offer. Uh, 8% max HP to damage barrier. 10%, 15%. Okay. I already looked at your goods. Can I go to these four now, or are you still going to be like... Nope, okay. It's fine by me. Looks like we got some uh, blue marks down there, I see. Uh, I was like, where's the... How do I get down again? So I've got a quest here and a quest there. Let's do this one. Left all clear, right all clear, front all clear, gold mouth A-OK. -okay. But get base shift not OK. Really? Who is supposed to take over watch when get, get BB's time is up? But we're already 3,821 seconds late. This thousandth time now. And thousandth time get BB will miss din -dins. That's not good. Get BB want to find me Lee and scold him whole day long. But get BB must get watch, so get BB so sleepy. Get Geggy B, so hungry. I'd like to help if that's okay. Meh meh, you want to help Geggy B? Thank you, Geggy B, ever so grateful. Please find Limili and tell him that it's time to relieve watch. I'll do what I can. Thank you, friends. Oh, that reminds me. You probably find Limili watching salvaging. He always loses track of time when doing that. Better late than never. Receive. Sure. Oh, 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 come on, go, go to down with the sickness. Savage is so cool, let me leave, could watch it all day. Meh, let me feel like he forgot something. So the thing is, meh, 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 watch duty. This is the time, get baby going to get so angry. Meh, 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 are you all right? Let me watch Savage for so long, he forgot his tummy was rumbly grumbly. Oh, Lily Mimi cannot move one inch. Lily Mimi shivered up and die here. Remember Lily Mimi fondly. Mm, this is awkward. What should we do? Take pity on poor Lily Mimi. Someone help Lily Mimi. There's no good. There's got no kind good people around. If only Lily Mimi could eat cinnamon palm roll from a honeycomb sweets, Lily Mimi would have energy to work. Roger. Just one, one single small cinnamon palm roll. You're not a sin. Oh wow, okay, that just got a little dark. You're not really a cinnabon. You're a cinnabon. Nectar jelly. You charge arts by 0.4 each second. Physical damage taken. Wow, okay, that's some good money there. You know, what? I'll actually buy two of these. One for him and maybe one for me. Are you in? Meh 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 meh. Here you go. You did it. It's an upon roll. Lumi, eat it up right now. Wait, no, no time for that. Lumi, we have terrible problem. Is something wrong? Why do me stand around dreaming of seen upon rolls? Precious treasure got stolen by Sly Crabble. Very, very important pendant from Mama Pon. Me must get pendant back. Oh, Lumi me have good idea. Let's hear the details. Lumi me will become salvage and salvage Sly Crabble. Foolproof. Lumi me start swimming practice first thing tomorrow. I like to help if that's okay. Fred up, Lumi me swimming practice. Oh, just get pendant back for Lumi me, me instead. Yeah. Friend very good and kind to get Lumimi both sent upon and pendant as well. Sly Crab will probably already return to depths of Cloud Sea. If Lumimi get pendant, he can walk. Lumimi saves sent upon roll until pendant is returned. 
Okay. I guess I gotta do some salvaging. Alright, let's not fuck this up this time. Time for some time. treasure hunting. Fuck. Ta. Onwards. Not the best. I love the smell of salvage. I love the smell of salvage. Oh, what the hell? Is that it right? That is it right okay, there. Bring it up. Ow. Ow. Sword bash. Anchor shot. Ha. Gap. Why not? No effect. Yeah. Gap. Ha. Ha. Anchor shot. Ha. Why not? Yeah. Ha. So fast. Anchor shot. Ha. I'm all. Ah, fuck. Out the juice. Well, that didn't work out well. I died, bitch. It's fine. We'll get him yet. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, what the fuck? Wait, was there another quest? Wait, what? Did it not save? Did it not save or there's just another quest? Oh, there's another quest. Okay, I was like, wait. Huh. Um, maybe I should do some of the. Maybe I should do these other quests first before I do that. Or I'll just keep finding this thing. Okay, time to take you down. Yeah. Ha. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Maybe I should buy another accessory or something. I'll put that in the pouch. There we go. Could try again, but I don't want to fuck up my cylinders. Because I only have so many of them before I have to buy more. Alright, now let's, not, let's not fuck it up this time. Hunting. What the fuck? Huh. Onwards. Damn it. Although that was the exact same way I got the first time, so... This looks like it'll be something good. There he is again. Okay. I think where I where I fucked up was. Okay, bring it up. Anchor 
Oh shit, the salvage does go away. I was like, oh, the salvage would be fine. Quiet. So what do I do with that like that salvage stuff that I got? Like uh item list, here we are. Yeah, is this this stuff that I just sell? Key items, accessories, pouches. Collectibles, okay. Meh, yeah, Cinnabon roll so tasty. Here you go. Ah, friends, Lumi me was not eating Cinnabon roll. Lumi me only eat half a Cinnabon roll. Meh, Lumi me spent it. Thank you. This Lumi me special memories of Mama Pon. Looks like everything worked out. Meh, Lumi me think too much about Pen and forgot to relieve Gaggy B to watch duty. Let me not keep Gabigi wedding. Bye, friends. Well, there's only one of me so far, so it's only by friend, but yeah, you do you, buddy. I wonder if... Okay, so this one's still here. Is that one that... Okay, it looks like they're still here, so these quests don't seem to be, don't seem to be affected by the time of day, so... But she disappeared again. Ah, thanks a lot. Get BB past watch duty to the Muley, no problemo. Yeah, pretty impressive, right? Mumi smashed Precious Lateness record of 7,691 seconds. Because this happened thousand times, Gibby planned a lecture for three days and three nights. But Mumi gave Gibby half of his delicious sin upon roll, so get BB forgive him. Looks like everything worked out. Get BB not monster. Generosity of get BB wide as clouds see. Oh, sin upon roll makes get BB sleepy. Here's a war for generous get BB. Thanks. If you see suspicious activity around Gold Mouth, please report to get BB or the Mili. Come bleed! Leather gloves and wolf shoes. Hi there! Me switch to me for guard duty, but can not help keep eyes open for suspicious characters. Please report suspicious individuals to get BB at any time, even while on break. Development. Okay, well, I got some new equipment, so. Increase dexterity by 20, or should I increase agility by 10? Uh, agility is the lower of the two, so I'll put that one on for now. So, anyway, so I want to see if I can look at some shops here. So, my development is up. Is it now like. Uh, okay, it's a one star thing. Okay. Um, okay, uh... You know what, let's pick this one up. Actually, you know what? I think that's going to do it for this first part of Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2, guys. In the next part, we'll do these next two quests, and we'll also do the, um, um, the main story. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click, and comment down below if you like about the video, didn't like about the video, and let me know, guys, what did you think of the first initial, uh, part here of Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I, I'm excited to play more, so yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both of my main Twitter, RBG, Kim Kid Twitter are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.